for all transfer students. So this is an org made by transfers for transfers, whether you're incoming or a continuing transfer student. Um, we know that the transfer community has a different um, has different obstacles when it comes to um, like joining a university compared to incoming freshman students. Our journeys are just much more different in that we feel like even a little bit rushed, right? So we wanna be that community for y'all where we can um, give you advice on like um, what workshops to attend, what committees you can join here. Um, we can give you all some um, MCAT prep, grad school prep, and like so much more how to boost your resumes. So this is why we joined and we made this org for y'all. Um, so who am I? I am Simana Vallejos Nunez. I am co-pres of Transfers in Science along with Ali. Um, he will introduce himself in a bit. Uh, my major is General Bio. I am a fourth year at class 21, 2021. Um, my college is Ravel and I hope to go to medical school. I really do wanna become an anesthesiologist. That is my passion. Um, so here's hoping. Um, and fun fact, I applied to UCSD as an anthropology major, but I got in as a bio major and that's the major I actually wanted. So it was like a sign to me that I should come to UCSD because they knew even more than I did. I wanted to be a biology major. Cool, what's up y'all? Uh, my name is Muhammad Ali Iqbal. I go by my real name Ali and I am the co-president. Um, my major is general biology, my minor is psychology. I'm a fourth year, I'm a senior, and uh, I'm from Ravel for some finest. Um, <laughs> uh, my career goal is to be a cardiothoracic surgeon. And fun fact is I auditioned for Disney's Aladdin. And for a brief moment in my life, I thought I was gonna be an actor. Um, obviously it didn't work out, I'm here. But I'm grateful I'm here. And I'm gonna go ahead and pass it on to our VP. Hi everyone, my name is Samir. I'm also continuing transfer. My major is cognitive science with the machine learning specialization, and I'm also minoring in electrical engineering. I'm of ERC college, and one potential career goal that I have is to be an AI engineer to work towards the machine learning um, sector. And an interesting fact about me is that I have ran a 457 mile before, and I'm gonna pass it on to our amazing secretary, Jasmine. Hi y'all, my name is Jasmine. Um, I'm the secretary. My major is molecular bio and I am also a second year transfer in Marshall College. So if anyone's in Marshall, hello. Um, my career goal is that I wanna be a doctor. I wanna be a dermatologist, but you know, there's still time to change that, so we'll see. And a fun fact about me is that I love conspiracy theories. So if anyone has some good ones, please come tell me your favorites. And I'm gonna pass it on. Hi everyone, my name is Sweet Soul. I'm the co-treasurer. My pronouns are she, her, and hers. I'm a molecular and cell bio major, a first year transfer at Ravel, and my career goal is to be able to earn a PhD and do a lot of research. And fun fact about me is that I'm a sleepy head. I sleep a lot, so my family calls me Sleep Cell, but I do love adventures, going and hiking and all that. I'm gonna pass it on to our co-treasurer, Brian. What's up, guys? Uh, it's Ryan here. I'm a co-treasurer, and uh, I'm also uh, the co-chair of GMT, which is a committee, but we'll get into that later. Don't worry about that. I'm a biochemistry major. This is my first year as a transfer student. Uh, I'm in Sixth College, and I'm shooting for medical school. Um, right now, I'm, I'm interested in oncology or psychiatry. Uh, and fun fact, I actually transferred from another four-year university. So um, that's kind of rare. A lot of transfer students um, come from community colleges. So if you're an, also an inter-college transfer, feel free to talk to me. Uh, all right, I'm gonna pass it on to Annie. Hi everyone, my name is Annie. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, and hers. I am one of the co-public relations officers for Transfers in Science. Uh, my major is marine biology, and I am a first year transfer student in Ravel College. My career goals at the moment are to earn a PhD and conduct a lot of research, just like Sweetzel. Uh, most, and I'm particularly interested in like marine microbes. Um, a fun fact about me is I really enjoy rock climbing, so hit me up if you're down to send. And I also have a really fun um, sock collection, so you might see me around like wearing socks that do not match my outfit. <laughs> 
Uh, next PR, sorry. Hey everyone, my name is Nkechi. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, and hers. And I'm also one of the co-public relations officers for this org. Um, I'm a human bio major, and I'm also a first year transfer at Ravel. My goal is to become a physician in the future. And a fun fact about me is that I love to watch TV, uh, probably more than I should for a series student. But uh, I listed a few of my favorite shows, so if you enjoy any of those as well, let me know. We can help, we can talk about those. And I will pass it on to Annie. I mean, sorry, uh, Cindy. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Cindy Tran. Um, my pronouns are she, her, and hers. I am the social chair and event planner for Transfers in Science. My major is also human biology, and I'm a first year transfer at Warren College. Uh, my career goals in the future is to be a physician assistant. And a fun fact about me is that I can play the piano and the clarinet. All right, thank you team for introducing yourself. Um, so I just wanna brush up on some things that we can help in. And we, like I said before, we will go over everything in detail. Um, if not today, then in future GPMs. Um, so we do, we wanna offer help to y'all and like tips on how to succeed in the quarter system. Um, because for many, of all, for many of us, this is very new to us, the quarter system, and we don't know how to manage it. We don't know exactly what to expect or how fast paced it is. Um, so we do wanna help y'all in that. Um, for example, like in my community colleges, the pluses and minuses for grades didn't exist. So when I transferred to UCSD and I like saw a B minus was like, a, like sunk your grade a lot, I was just like, wow, um, I didn't know. And I wish someone had told me that beforehand. Um, so th these are just small things that we want to help you in and there's some really big things too like um, how to get med school prep, how to um, find more community service opportunities and we have also made a few committees that y'all could join and be a part of so we're really excited to be able to help y'all. So financial aid is probably one of the more integral parts that you're going to probably look after if you have plans to do um, grad school or pre-med. And it's really crucial that you basically map out the amount of units you want to take and also consider your financial aid because you'll notice that in order to qualify for financial aid, you have to maintain a certain number of units and staying on top of that is a really good plus. Many of you may be familiar with FAFSA, which is the free application for federal student aid. And there are other things that you can um, capitalize on as well, such as work studying and different um, like ways to fund future endeavors, such as studying abroad. And we all recommend that you contact your um, advisor, your major advisor, to make sure that you're on track to graduate in two years and you know exactly which courses you need to take so that you're not only getting the financial aid, but you're also making the right steps ahead. And in order to do that, we do recommend a few academic resources, such as OASIS. If you have any homework problems, if you really want to understand a concept that you probably couldn't get figured out in discussion, you can always um, reach out to them. They can get that done as well. So in addition to OASIS, um, there's also the Teaching and Learning Commons, abbreviation is TLC, which is pretty cute, um, which is a good place to go for help and for tutoring and other things as well. And there's also a link for the best places to study on campus, which are open even during the pandemic. So that's good. Um, if anybody is on campus, you can go check those places out. Um, in addition to that, we do have, or UCSD does offer a service that goes by the name of CAPS, um, and they're specializing in time management. Um, they help with procrastination, also offer some mental health services as well. Um, I'm going to offer all the links in the chat, but yeah, I'm going to pass it on. Yeah, so um, on top of that, right, because Oasis is great, TLC is great all these things to help you succeed in classes is fantastic. And on top of that, financial aid is not only gonna play a role in grad school or med school, right? It's also gonna play a role here because your success in the core system depends a lot on money because for a lot of students, they have to work two or three jobs or have to work a job on campus while dealing with the core system. And we wanna help you out with that. We wanna help you manage your time, make sure you succeed in the core system. Um, but one of the main things we do wanna highlight is mental health and physical health. 
Um, we do have student health services, SHS. If you do have UC SHIP, it is all available to you. You have physicians, nurse practitioners, RNs, all that good stuff. The only thing is, is that if you don't have UC SHIP, that's okay as well. They do checkups for like 20 to 50 bucks. Um, it ranges on what you want to get. But they're great, even if you don't have that insurance um, through through uh, through campus. And then counseling and psychological services, which is CAPS, super important, right? That's your mental health. Uh, with mental health deteriorating, it can contribute to weight gain. It can contribute to your success and your confidence in yourself. And all those things are so important. So do not feel afraid to use CAPS, to use SHS. These are just great opportunities for you all to keep your mental health up. Um, on top of that, we have the Trend Transfer Hub. I hope you all heard about it. Um, it is a great hub. They have transfer peer coaching. Um, they, are, they are certified peer educators, so they know what they're talking about. And y'all should definitely go ahead and make an appointment with them. Um, keep in mind that this is just a brief thing that we're talking about how to succeed in the course system. Later in the future, we will have a GBM that focuses specifically on how to deal with the course system and specifics on how to tackle each thing during the course system. Um, probably by GBM two or GBM three. So be on the lookout for that, and we will post these slides later. So all the links on here, y'all will be able to uh, interact with and click on. Um, and going on to research. So, unfortunately, due to the state of the world, um, research may be a little bit more difficult to find during this time. However, that doesn't mean it's impossible, um, and there are many ways to get it. So. Um, starting off with how to get research, you have the opportunity to get to know your professors by going to office hours frequently and getting familiar with them, asking them about their research, if they're doing any, um, and if it interests you, you can definitely ask them um, straight out if they have a position in their lab or like if you can help. Um, it's also really good for getting a letters of recommendation too, which will be covered later on in the slides. Um, but yeah, they would need to get to know you really well in order to write you a letter of rec anyway, so that also helps. Um, there's another method called cold emailing, which basically means you just send an email, you find a bunch of professors or faculty that have research that you're interested in. Um, I would recommend a minimum of 10, mostly because a lot of these professors are very busy and they don't have time to get back to their emails. However, since everybody's online all the time, that might be a different case now. Um, but just to be safe, you should have at least 10 professors or faculty members um, on your list to email for their research and ask about a position in their lab. Make sure you provide that you're interested in what kind of research that they're doing that piqued your interest, which um, will show that you are more eager to be in their lab, which they like. Um, another amazing um, resource is Handshake, which is basically a platform for UCSD and UCSD affiliates, students, alumni, all that, um, where they offer positions for jobs, for internships, for research, for all kinds of things. Um, so we're definitely gonna go more in depth in that in later GBMs. There's also the Real Portal, which is specifically for research. And, um, and internships, which we will provide the link. Another interesting way is through Facebook pages, which in this day and age, I'm not surprised by because you, know, you can get anything through social media now, but Facebook pages, UCSD internship and jobs pages, you could find a lot of good things there. Um, and there's also something that UCSD provides called the Academic Internship Program, which you can get academic credit while you are doing research in a lab. So that's pretty cool definitely something to look into. Um, some other programs that are offered um, that take a little bit more of a time commitment but would look great on a resume is the BSMS program, which basically you can get your bachelor's and master's concurrently. And another cool thing about this program is that a lot of the professors on the list are doing clinical research. So if you are on the pre-med route and you need clinical hours, you could do your clinical hours and research all in one. So that's like a two bird, one stone situation, which is really, really good. Um, and then there's the McNair program, which is focused specifically on low income, first gen or underrepresented minority students. Um, and there's a link to apply, which we will provide. And I'm going to pass it on to Ryan. So uh, in your journey to, sorry, could you, thank you. Uh, in your journey to getting research, the first thing you're gonna wanna sharpen are these really important documents. You have 
your resume, your cover letter, your CV, and your LinkedIn profile. I know there's another one. Um, but fortunately, you chose the right school because we have a lot of opportunities here to um, speak with professionals who have been coaching um, students uh, on creating the best version of these. Uh, I actually, just today, uh, had a LinkedIn review with um, Helen and it went well, it went awesome. Uh, and then, so they also give you, they can also do career advising. They have pre-health, They have, I saw pre-law pre-graduate. Um, so I would definitely recommend those one-on-one -on -one sessions. It can be really impactful. Uh, and finally, I want to mention here Handshake. Um, in case you haven't heard of it, Handshake is a software that um, is aimed at giving students jobs. Um, so everything on there is employers um, that are looking for students to employ. So, so that could look like a research position, but that can also look like you know, like a part-time gig. Um, but I would recommend Handshake as well. I'm gonna pass it on. Um, just a quick reminder, once again, I know it's all really overwhelming, lots of information, but all this information will be provided in a future GBM where we will actually do a walkthrough through Handshake and LinkedIn and hopefully help y'all get research and have a entire workshop just for y'all help just to help y'all get research. So do not feel overwhelmed by this. This is just for y'all to get started and something to get, something to put into your mind. And with that being said, um, community service options is another great opportunity, right? Uh, it's great um, because it looks great on your resume. You're involved, you're not just a student, you're out and about. Um, it looks great from uh, grad med school because um, they wanna see that you're a well-rounded individual. And with community service, for example, if you're a pre-med student, don't only do pre-med things. Do something that you want to do. So if you're a pre-med student but you love climbing, you're an avid climber, then join a community service thing or in org that is going to be revolved around that because that shows who you are. That shows your personality. It's also a great way to make friends. Um, we, um, a lot of these opportunities we will give to you and uh, we will provide y'all with a link to sign up. Um, with that uh, sign up link, y'all can actually go in and we will send y'all emails to the newsletter of different community service options that y'all can sign up for. So that's just great, uh, another way. Um, two of the things that y'all can sign up for right now is, and Kesha will take it away. Yeah, so two community service opportunities that we have for you guys right now. Uh, one is to become a poll worker. We all know the election is coming up really, really soon. So it's important that we, as well as voting, also take part in working behind the polls and making sure we have a nice and safe election. Um, so for this community service opportunity, not only do you get community service hours, but you also get paid. Uh, like, I, like I wrote in the slide you get paid between 14 to 17 bucks an hour so it's a good job uh they only they do have a few requirements which are listed there and they also have them listed on their website so you can take a look and see if it's something that interests you as well another community service that opportunity that we have is working with the san diego rescue mission which works with um, addicts and those who are struggling and homeless as well they do have holiday outreach uh, holiday outreach meals you know like on thanksgiving or christmas but they also have weekday breakfast every morning i think from five to like six they said. So if you're down and you're able to come out and go over there and help them out, uh, they definitely needed it too. And like I and like it says on the slide, there is a app. You have to fill out an application and you do have to pay for a background check. But if you pay for the background check once, you don't have to worry about it forever. Um, so I'll pass it on. Um, yeah, great. Um, so I figure that we do have some people here who are interested in going to med school. Um, so here are some things that you will, do want to know um, before applying to med school. You'll want to know about the application process. Um, it's very different compared to like any other application I've ever seen before. Like even um, the application to get into a four-year university was much more simple. And at the time I thought it was so complicated. So once I saw the MCAT application, I was just like, okay, now I know that things are different. I need a, I, like once I saw that, I knew what I had to get done in undergrad, which brings me to the requirements for undergrad. Um, medical schools have certain requirements for classes, research, um, and um, like a broad of other like subjects that you need to get done before applying. Um, so we want to let y'all know about, about those. Um, we also know that not everything is clear and cut. 
So we know that um, for many of us, it's not that simple to just go straight into med school. Some of us will need gap years and we need to know how to make those gap years effective. Um, and then we also wanna let y'all know about deadlines. So everything that's listed here on the left side, we will go over in detail. We wanna make sure that you all feel um, prepared before you go on to med school. Um, here's what you need to do right now. So you've got to contact your advisor through the Virtual Advising Center, which can be found at Trident Lang or through the UCSD website. Your advisor will definitely help you with career planning, academic success, and even with other resources. So definitely do that. You can also check out the Health Beat. It is a part of a career service here on campus that provides guidance and advice for those who are looking to work in the health field. Another thing is the Career Center. It has also information on how to find ideal jobs, internships, or experiential outcomes. You also have to start studying the seven subjects covered on the MCAT. There's a lot of information, so the earlier the better. Make connections with professors for your letters of recommendations. This is very important. Best way to do this is by going to office hours. Get to know your professors. Get involved and get experience in labs, shadowing, clinical research, and another great resource is us, Transfers in Science. We are here to help you, so don't hesitate to reach out. Moving on, I'll pass it to Ryan. So another big um, focus that we're gonna have is for helping everyone who's um, interested in applying to grad school. And before I get into this, I just really wanna reiterate a message that Ollie was trying to convey earlier, which is, to not feel overwhelmed or to rush. Getting into UCSD is a remarkable feat. You may have not gone for the major that you originally chose and you're gonna be experimenting with different classes, finding out things that you didn't previously consider and that's gonna open um, potential for new programs that you might have not considered. So we're gonna help with the application process, specifically the undergraduate requirements that you need for that. And if you feel that you really want to get into a program and you're really not sure about getting all the requirements in, we're going to tell you and help you like create, um, if you want to use a gap year, we can help basically um, just make sure you're on the right track. And there's going to be a lot of deadlines, especially as well, because you're going to be reaching out to different universities and some will require different subject tests for GREs while others may only require one. But um, that's all stuff that you can focus on throughout the year because you're still exploring different programs that you're um, basically getting interested to. But similar to studying for or, or trying to get into med school, you're going to want to make your application really nice. And we, um, similar to how you apply to UCSD, extracurriculars make a big difference. So making sure you're getting internships, you're getting certificates. You can get a lot of certificates online for different um, courses and we're gonna really help um, show those uh, different ways that you can make your application really nice, whether it be through internships or um, labs. So definitely explore, try out different things. And when you do find a program, you can always reach out to us and we're gonna make sure that you're um, going in the right path and I'll pass it on to Annie. Hi, so we are a new org, and, but that means that it's really easy to get involved and gain leadership experience through active participation. So our committees are a great starting point to get yourself out there, meet new people, and make those really important connections. Um, new organizations such as ours is also super great because we're open to ideas and we are here to grow and just become a better community. Um, lastly, you can look back and recognize the hard work that you put into an organization like Transfers in Science, and you can know that you made a difference. And just so you guys know, applications will be um, opening up this coming spring. Like Annie was saying, there are a lot of opportunities for growth, especially within this org, and our committees are one of them. Um, we're planning on forming a couple committees, uh, Women in Science being one of them, which I am co-chair with our wonderful co-president, Semena. Um, we're basically going to bring in guest speakers of women who are professionals in the STEM field. And ultimately the goal is to empower women and to increase representation and just offer support for women who are in STEM and want to succeed and go for forward in their careers. And I'm gonna pass it on to my GMT peeps. 
Uh, so for GMT stands for Grad and Med Talks. Uh, mostly it'll be full of panels and guest speakers, those who are um, accomplished in their field, whether it be in medicine or in research. And then hopefully we're trying to get some transfer alumni, either from UCSD or from other UCs, those who are like us and who made it far, either they're in med school or they're in grad school or they're um, working in the field right now, but they started at a community college just like us as well. And I'll pass it on to the pre-research group. Um, so Sweetzel and I are um, chairs for the pre-research committee. So Transfers in Science is here to support all science majors, including mine, which is marine biology. So we're, our plans are to bring like a multitude of people from many, many different backgrounds so they can share their interests with all of you. Um, we are also going to connect you with people within your major. So again, you can make those connections, network. That's like the biggest thing. Um, as well as help you find specific research opportunities for your specific major. So another great benefit um, Transfers in Science offers is our mentor and mentee program. Um, so this, uh, we, for our mentor and mentee program, we require that you meet with your mentor and mentee at least two times a quarter. And this is uh, so that you guys can check in with each other and make sure everything is going good, um, making sure your schedules haven't changed and are aligned. And if you're uh, a continuing transfer, second year transfer, and you'd like to take on the role of a mentor and help them, uh, help incoming transfer, uh, some of your some of your duties would uh, include providing guidance and resources to a mentee, sharing your tips and personal experience, experiences that you had when you first came to UCSD as a transfer and, and like things that you uh, think would be helpful for them to know. Other things include advice on classes, internships, and jobs, and uh, many more. So, and um, if you like to become a mentee and get help from a mentor, you would receive insight and guidance uh, through your college journey from a mentor, they can help add an added layer of support because, you know, we're all new to this. We're not sure. It's overwhelming. And so it's really always great to have another person looking out for you and another person guiding you. And we also have Google Forms for that. Um, links in the chat, but we'll also have them in a Google Doc compiled all together if you're interested to join. And as of now, I will pass it on to our Kaplan representative, Kevin, and they'll talk more about uh, more about Kaplan and give a short presentation. All right, hi everyone. My name is Kevin. Sorry about that. Uh, I am a fourth year uh, Revell student majoring in general biology with a minor in business. So I'm also pre-med and I have hopes of becoming a physician one day and also entering into health admin. Um, so today I'm just gonna present um, a short, very brief presentation about what being a Kaplan partner means. Um, super excited to be here and thank you for having me by the way. Um, and I'm glad that Transfers in Science like gets to partner with Kaplan because we get to provide everyone with the resources that we have. So to begin with uh, the UCSD 15 uh, promo code, anyone here can use this. Um, and then you can also send this to your friends as well. You can get this, um, you can get 15% off any Kaplan course, whether it be for the MCAT, PCAT, uh, DAT, OAT, whatever you want. Um, it just does not apply for private tutoring courses or one-on-one -on -one tutoring. Uh, and you can use this at www.captest.com or just simply call 1-800-CAPTEST. Uh, another thing is right now we have a campaign going on uh, where we have free events such as MCAT workshops, LSAT boot camps, just everything um, regarding test prep, um, as well as giving you access to a free study guide, which I'll go into more detail um, right now, actually. So uh, Transfers in Science actually has their own unique link through us. Um, and through this, we can track how many people sign up with Transfers in Science link. Um, and I think it's a really cool way because um, not only are you getting material from Kaplan and benefiting yourself, you're also benefiting the organization. Because with this, um, what's called an earned scholarship is once they get 300 leads, and I know it sounds like a big, big number, but um, if you just send it to all your friends, post it in Facebook groups, um, it'll be super easy. Uh, you get a $2,500 Kaplan scholarship that could be raffled off or given to anyone um, within the org 
it's all up to you how you choose to do it um, up to the executive board. So if everyone would like to follow along, it'll take just a few minutes. I wanna walk through the process of um, signing up if you'd like to. You'll also be entered to win a $400 Amazon gift card, which I think is really cool. Uh, so you can either scan this QR code or go to this link right here. And so after going to this link, it'll take you to a page that looks just like this. Um, and what you can do is for the MCAT, GRE, GMAT, and LSAT, we actually have like free events, workshops, boot camps, um, and just general events that are open to everyone. For the DAT, OAT, and PCAT, we have just study guides for students who want to access that. Uh, and you also get a study guide with these four as well. So I'm just gonna show what the MCAT uh, events looks like. So we have all of these events that are available to students. Um, we have MCAT workshops, MCAT science lessons, but I think what's really cool about what Kaplan is doing right now is they're addressing social justice issues and concerns in our modern day world, such as racial disparities in mental health care. And I'll show how black pain matters in the historical medical assumptions about black pain um, thresholds and how they impacted care. So there's a bunch of events that I think are really cool going on um, and you can choose to sign up for whatever you like and you can choose to for all of them as well. So let's say you just wanna do MCAT uh, boot, uh, the workshop that's coming up um, and you want a study guide, it's pre-selected for you. Um, so you can unselect it if you don't want it, but it's a free resource, so why not? Um, and all you have to do is put your name uh, and then your email when you're taking the test. Um, and then as soon as you do that, you just press get access. Uh, and so after that, it'll send you an email and remind you about everything that you signed up for as well as even give you reminders about what other events you might want to sign up for. Um, and I just want to show what the study guide looks like real quick. It is essentially the quick sheets that come with the Kaplan textbook. So if you ever want a downloadable copy uh, or PDF, it's a free 24 page like uh, worksheet that just goes over an overview about what's covered on the MCAT. So I think it's a really cool tool uh, for students um, that maybe want to review early on or even review right before the exam. So. Uh, and it's the same thing, you'll get a study guide if you sign up for any of the other exams as well. So here's the link if anyone wants to get that real quick. Um, and then, so what I talked about is the Earned Scholarship and what it is, uh, like I said, it's a free $2,500 course scholarship for every 300 students that connects with Kaplan through the Transfers in Science link. And the event or the campaign does end pretty soon in um, about 30 days. So I would, if you want to get that, be, be sure to just share it with your friends. And this just benefits the club because it can be used as a fundraiser. You can donate the money to charity or use the money to buy swag or food, whatever the club wants. Uh, and some incentives for the 300, uh, you can always promote the $400 Amazon gift card and just simply the access to Kaplan benefits. And this is just a short video about online learning. Oh, hold on. Sorry. So something that I think is really cool about Kaplan is that they've been teaching online for nearly a decade now. Um, so when everything went virtual, they weren't phased. It's something that they've had been doing for many years. Uh, so something they say is online learning is our thing, um, but we want to make it your thing. And they're going to do whatever they can to assess the needs of their students and just work around everything that um, will work best for, for you. And yeah, so that's a, it was a really brief presentation, but if you have any questions, um, I can answer them in the chat right now. I'll stay for a few minutes. Um, or if you want to message me um, on any social media, uh, it's just this handle or email me at kevin.gotkaplan.com. Uh, so that's basically it. Um, I'll also post the link um, in the chat as well if anyone missed it. But yeah, I just wanna say thank you to Transfers in Science for having me. 
Um, and I'm looking forward to the rest of the year. Thank you. Thanks so much, Kevin. I really appreciate it. That is our amazing brand ambassador with Kaplan. Kaplan X TIS collab. You know, big things coming out throughout the year. So um, be on the lookout for that. Um, but yeah, definitely. Thank you so much, Kevin. I uh, really appreciate it. But yeah, y'all definitely use that link, sign up, get chance for $400 gift card. Super easy process. You get a study guide, you get a session. And if you win $400 on Amazon, I mean, that's pretty lit. So I don't know. Uh, so definitely sign up for that. Um, going into the rest of the GBM, I'm just finishing up now. Um, PRs. Y'all can go ahead and take it off. Um, so these are our Instagram and Facebook links. Um, ha well, name handles. Um, but just follow those because you'll be the first to know about um, our events, our GBM dates, and anything that we have going on. Um, but yeah, they are right there. And do not forget to sign up um, to be a new member of this org. Y'all can go ahead and scan this QR code. We will drop a Google Docs link with the um, with this new member sign up, the mentor mentee program sign up, and the committee interest form. So don't worry about that. Um, and now, just to end our presentation, we had made a brief video for y'all. Let me know if there's any audio issues. Shout out to our VP, Samir, for getting the shots for that video. Um, but yeah, I just want to let y'all know, congratulations to come to UCSD. Y'all have come so far. And as transfer students, we have proven so many people wrong that there's only one pathway. Um, as transfer students, um, we persevered. We have overcome so many obstacles in our lives to get to where we're at today, to get to where we're at right now. And we didn't come this far to only come this far. Um, one of the main things we do want to tackle with this org is the imposter syndrome. I know me personally, I didn't feel like I belonged. I thought I was picked by accident or I felt like, dang, like, do I, am I really, do I really belong here? And um, thankfully I did find my place here. We want to help you find your home here at San Diego. Um, and y'all didn't come this far, only come this far. We really believe in you. We're so excited to work with you. Um, y'all are amazing individuals. I'm super excited to get to know each and every one of y'all throughout the year. And um, thank y'all so much for coming to GBM. Um, we will drop a Google Doc that has a sign-in form, that has a mentor-mentee um, form, and the interest form for the committees. Please fill that up. We really appreciate your time tonight. And uh, we hope to, here's too many successes, and here's too many lessons learned. Uh, and hopefully we can tackle everything all together. Uh, thank y'all so much for coming out tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We got you.
What's up, Mike? Mike Michael's my brother. Yeah. Hi, Michael. Good. Hi, Michael. He probably Hi. stepped out. Yeah. Have... Your mom did see my message. She said, "Signed, uh -huh. Queen Janice." That was so freaking cute. Yeah. Did someone record? Jazz, are you able to record? Oh yeah, I'm still recording. Actually, let me pause that.